Hey Stampers, Gainer again. Look at my mucky pad. <laughs> oh, I've been having a little play. I wanted something to go in my bag on the go just in case I forget because I've got a terrible head for forgetting people's birthdays or, you know, if I want to just say thank you to someone quickly. So I've been making this little tiny album. Look how cute this is. It's dinky. And I put a little notch in the back so it allowed my elastic and look I used my oh this glamorous roses I think it's called designer series paper that I had from the range and then some card that was just gifted to me and I put little presents in the bottom and they're just plain little cards you don't need anything on the front you can if you want to carry on decorating them they fit in there and I've made some little envelopes to go with they do slide in there, trust me. <laughs> They're a bit of a tight squeeze, but they do go in and they do close. And when I can get it, oh, it will go in, trust me. Um, and then you just put a strip there over so I can turn it over and write my little message on the front and on the inside of the card. Uh, you could add a card and an envelope to each one if you wanted. I think it might get a little bit too bulky. Um, I've got some more cards here. You know, and I'm just using gifted papers, and I think that's just so sweet. And I've popped a little love heart. So you could have eight cards and eight envelopes, but I think it just might get a little bit bulky. So what I've done, I've got my card one side, my envelope the other. You could stamp something on here. You know, I put this I love you on the front, which is so cute. And it reminds me of a little postage stamp. And that's from this beautiful set I had... Oops, Lorraine sent me a magazine. Well, she, I bought it. She found it. I bought it. Someone sent cards in with the little giraffe on and the flowers. Absolutely stunning. So she found me the magazine with the stamp set. Uh, it was, I think it was like $9.99. Enough to make about eight cards as well. But look how cute this little giraffe is. But you could stick something like with best wishes on or just hello. This one, like I say, I love you. You're so cute. Have a fantastic birthday. Best friends forever. Miss you. Special facts. There's loads. Lots of love. I think that's just so cute. There's little love hearts. There's the cluster of flowers there and there. There's little um, paw prints. More little love hearts. Bows. There's just so much on this little leaves. Just beautiful. And yeah, so I'm, none of it... Well, no, just the ink, I think, is uh, stamping up. <laughs> I've used cheap cardstock to make the envelopes because it's really thin. And I think it's perfect for envelopes. Got a bit of a muck on there, that has. I'm going to I'm gonna have to cover that with something. But, yeah, I'm just using gifted cards. Uh, present top on there. Just, you can put one on the front as well. I'm going to turn the envelopes around because I've, I've left a strip there so you can peel it off and seal it afterwards. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, it's just so cute. Yeah, turn the envelopes around, they look a lot better. Uh, but you could put gift cards in here. Oh, look, I'll have to put another one on that. I made them uh, originally a little bit longer, but let's take that one off. Let's throw that in the bin and get a new sticker. There we go. I was gifted these beautiful love heart stickers and these little present ones. Absolutely adorable. So let's get another one. Let's have this one. And just stick that on the inside of the card. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. So that goes in there. The envelope's there. And you can get four cards and four envelopes. This one's a little bit tight because it's at the back. But you, because this flap isn't sealed in the centre, you can just move it to one side. And then I popped a little brad hole in there. And then this keeps your little booklet closed. And in the end, that cute. It's just so cute. I shouldn't have pulled that tight because it's pulling in the corner, see? But it's got a little hinge on the back. 
Oh, it's just so adorable. My cards were going to be that long, but then I realised I couldn't get the envelopes in. <laughs> That's And I chopped them down. That's why you just seen the top on that other one. But uh, I've decided to keep these little note cards. These are two and a half by three. So you want these two and a half by six and just fold and burnish them in the centre. So I've got an assortment of these little cards here. Absolutely adorable. And I think I'm going to use the blue, the pink, the peach and the deeper pink on these ones. So I'm going to have four of those. I've made my four little envelopes already. I'll show you how to make those as well. Nice and glittery everywhere. Love it. Uh, I'm going to use some double-sided designer series paper this time so it's not so plain in here. I just think this is so cute. You could keep this in your handbag or in your coat pocket even. It's that small. <laughs> Stop flicking off there, Gator. Uh, yeah, it's just so adorable. I just don't want that knot to show it. And pull that knot back round. You can hide that. I said I can hide it. So you could li literally, you could even keep little notepads once you've sent all your cards. You know, some two and a half by three inch pieces of paper and then use it as a little journal as well. Oh, clever clogs. <laughs> so I'm coming in with this. It is pretty directional but uh, I don't mind I think I'm gonna leave this on the inside I'm gonna, I don't know now you've got me thinking again now should I use that one let's see what else I've only got a few sheets of this left see and I adore it so much oh look I've got all these beautiful cut-offs oh my gosh so we can either have chicks <laughs> on one side and this beautiful wood effect Oh, we've got these little foxes and the bow heck. Oh, ooh, I like this one actually. Let me just tear this last page out. Or this one with all the little bits of perfume bottles on. Oh, I think we'll have this one. Most definitely. Because they're non-directional as well, so you won't be too bad. And this was like... $1.99 or $2.99 from the range. Oh, and it's nearly all gone, so I might have to get some more. But you're just going to need one piece of 12 by 12, and I'm going to have this as my outside. And you'll need a piece of card. I'm going to get some pink to contrast with this. Uh, I'm just using it out my scraps bin. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 nope. And, oh, what have we got there? Nope, that's not pink. There, we've got a bit of pink pirouette. That's pretty close. You won't use all that. You'll only need it just over four inches. Or if we've got a nicer pink. I don't, am I going to cut a whole piece of cardstock up? Let's see what is on this side, actually, because you could use a little bit of pale blue somewhere, or even purple. Maybe, or even, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. So, this is all you're going to need. A scrap piece of paper, as long as it's more than two inches. This is two and a quarter. Yeah, let me just show you what we're going to do with this piece. We're going to trim this down to four and a quarter. It's going to be, because your book's four inches, you'd so, I'd sooner cut a bit off than try and add a bit, or add it too short. Cut it at four inches, then you're gonna pop it in. And you're gonna put this in at a half inch. Score. Three quarters of an inch. Score. And then one and a quarter. It doesn't look straight, does it? It never goes, I'm gonna use my we're going to pull out the Simply Scored anyway, so let's see if I can do that from the other side. Because we are going to trim off the excess. So, oh my gosh, look at me in a pickle. So let's just go over. We've got half inch, keep it straight. And then we've got three quarters of an inch. And then one and a quarter inches. And we're going to cut off that excess. I've got some new jazzy little scissors. Look at them. They're so sweet. 
Lidl's £1.50. I'm just... <laughs> I've got about 12 pairs of scissors now, I think. Uh, that wasn't very straight, but that'll do. <laughs> so we're going to leave that for after. We're going to score those. These are going to be your spine. Just a wrap. And they only need a quarter inch gap. Just to take up the bulk. Right, now for your 12 inch piece. Simples. Score tool. I'm using the largest one because this has a tendency to crack, I'm afraid. So you've got to be really gentle. So, three, six, nine, turning around, two, six, but only to the first score line. And then ten all the way down. How's that? Blah, 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 blah. Now we need a trimmer. Oops, a daisy. You're going to take it from the bottom. You're going to put it in at the six inch mark where we scored to the first line. And now we're going to cut to the first score line. So it's like this. There we go. That's it. I can start putting it together. It's going to be so simple. Right, score the outside. Right, going to burnish the score lines. Take this up and burnish. Spin it round. And burn. You can see where it's coming from now, can't you? It's just so simple. And then what we're going to do, we're going to, well, I'm going to open them. Just going to burnish our score lines. Oh, and I'm quite happy I used the big ball because it hasn't touched wood up to now. Oh, don't say nothing, Gainey. You probably jinx yourself. It hasn't cracked. Oh, my gosh. Is that lush? God, I remember me and my sister used to make these when we were kids and put little hidden messages in them. So cute. Gosh, these have been around for God knows when. So, we can, right, that's right. Now, I've got this little 1 8 inch tape. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And we're gonna pop some, just on the four corners, going down. It's only so, I don't want to use tearing tape. It's way too wide and I'd never get my first card in there. So just keeping it next to the score line. And then right along that edge so we get more use for that pocket. Love this. Turn it round and do the bottom. Two corners. I think this, it's, it was the prep of the cards and envelopes that took the longest. This takes minutes, and I mean minutes. You could, these would be great for Christmas presents. Little handbag tree presents, you know, because I know a friend of mine gives tree presents. They all, before they have their dinner, I open their presents. They don't open their presents until after they have their lunch on a Christmas day. So what they do, they all sit around the tree just before dinner have a tree present which is just something small and compact off the tree so it fits on the tree and doesn't dangle uh, they have tree presents then they have their lunch then they have their presents how hard is that for the kids to sit there and wait till like two three o'clock to have their christmas dinner and then open their tree presents so i'm going to peel back this tape love this stuff and i'm just going to fold this back up making sure and get this in view making sure you keep your card your papers lined up perfectly there and then we're going to take that all the way down to here follow that down and it's perfect bang on each one and i'm going to reinforce those the other way in a moment because i scored the wrong way so again let's peel off your tape 
can't get to that one. Come on. There we go. Oh, there's my little tub. Get all your bits in there, Gain. I've been called Gainer, I've been called Joy, I've been called Gloria. My name's Gainer. <laughs> I don't mind. Don't call me anything you want, just cause don't call me late for my dinner. <laughs> my mum used to say that all the time and he's like what are you on about mother <laughs> so I'm just going to go back reinforce these score lines now as we're folding it a different way and because we've got two lots of paper now as well you need to make sure whoops don't split it they're burning right now we I've done this the wrong way. I think I have, haven't I? No, I want it that way. I can't, no. Yes, I can. You're going to just concertine these books. That means that one's going to be on the outside. I want it on the inside. Have I done it wrong? <laughs> I want them as my flaps. Well, they are in the inside but the wrong way round. So, bear with me. Bear with me indeed. Um, so, it's that way, is it? That way, that way. That way. No, okay, you're doing it wrong. Right, that way. That's better. We'll get there in the end. So, fold, fold, fold. There's my book. Fold, fold, fold. There's my flat. That's the way it goes. And then we're going to put our spine on here. But then your book will open like this. Oh, I've cut it the wrong way. So what, I'll rectify that now in a minute. I am going to snip that off. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Uh, just you can leave this like this, but I want that on the outside, and I folded mine wrong. So you needed to fold it the other way. Don't worry about that, though, because we're going to just still put this together. And when we add our spine, it will keep it all together. Put something heavy on that. Let's find something heavy. There we go. <laughs> that didn't stay on long. There we go. Right, I'm going to add this little tape in here because this is so powerful this tape is really strong I'm gonna add that in there my fault I, I I got it right it's just because I wanted that paper on the outside I just folded it the fit wrong in the first place so practice before you start gluing anything down because um, always always happens to me on videos I always make a boo-boo when I don't mean to so I'm gonna add a bit of glue as well for movability and because once you add glue to your tear and tape you can move it around and I'm just going to add oops, plenty of glue I don't want this coming off now had it right just that means I would have had the pail on the outside and I wanted the I wanted these little bottles on the outside you know the pattern on the outside so keep those two together nice and neat and you're going to lay this right in the center that's where that little gap comes from in the center and because it's got wiggle space, wrap it around, push it down, and push it in. So it fits perfect. I'm going to keep hold of that and squeezing it. I know my tape is on, and I'm even going to push it down like this. So I know it. And then I can trim off the excess. Start opening it a little bit first and then trim it. Get rid of that bit because it's covered in glue. 
and stuck to my finger. <laughs> it's nice and neat. Close that back up. I'm just going to keep making sure it is the permanent and there's no bits hanging over the top and the bottom. So our little book now. Well, oh, there's a little trim there. I can see. You should always trim from the back. That way you can get it perfect. There we go. Little tiny fraction, all nice and neat. So there's your little pockets. They've been glued down. These don't need to be. And you've got that space there to add. I need to glue this down as well. Look, see that? I'm going to add some more glue here. I'm just going to glue these two together. There we go. I'm going to pop that over sure it's together and it's all square on. Keep rubbing it down so my pages are closed. Perfect, absolutely perfect. So each page now has got its own identity. Those two we've just glued down and they're gonna stay together perfectly. So I'm gonna leave that weight on there and maybe grab another weight. There we go. I'm gonna leave that on there for ten minutes uh, for a few minutes. Right, I've cut out the second second smallest or second large second smallest of the stitched squares and I think it's about number four on the scalloped one just so I can put my sentiment on the front. And I want this at an angle, so I'm going to try and keep it in the centre. Point and point, just to guide. Ink up my love you. And isn't that cute? Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, I can clean that now, actually. My stamp is clean, child. I may get four little... Pop that away. I'm going to take remove that, and I'm going to get another sentiment. This one is going back on here. Love you. Um, I'm going to have the lots of love. On that one, and I'm gonna have the. Oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? We've gone. My eyes deceive me. I'm gonna have that little love heart there. It's like a little stitched love heart. I'm gonna catch a smaller block in. I'm gonna pop that on there. From this gorgeous little set. I've got my little tape runner here. And I'm going to, oops, I'm going to just line this up first, get a nice little square going all the way around. Perfect. I've got some little rhinestones here. I'm just going to have one top and the bottom. Grab a couple of dimensionals. Gonna go on the front. I think that glue would be dry by now, but yes. Oh, it's just absolutely so cute. So in comes my little tray. And that is just gonna sit on there. Just so cute. How cute is that oh my gosh this is 
beautiful. You could put all sorts. You could put photographs in um, on little cards. Make like tuck cards and put photographs on. You'd get eight photographs in here. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Whoops. Ooh, flying out. <laughs> I'm flying out my hand. So let's get. Right. I'm going to add a little bit more detail to those cards. I do love them. They're so sweet. But I'm just going to have a little... I'm going to use the tab punch. Or a little one-eighth of an inch tab punch. Grab some scrap. Uh, I've got some tiny little pieces of thick whisper white here. I'm going to fetch a few in. It doesn't matter if I go a bit wonky. I'll only need that one, I think. It doesn't matter if I go a bit wonky because my punch will straighten it out. So I'm going to grab the lots of love and I'm just going to punch it, punch it. I'm going to stamp it. One, two, three. Oh, good job I kept that one. Four times. Oh my God, they look like little stitched... Um, like stitching, the, the, the writing looks a bit like it's been stitched. Look how cute they are. Look, lots of love. See what I mean? It looks like it's been stitched. So let's go have our little punch. Line this up. And I'm going to get four of those. Keep them in the centre. And as straight as can be. That's so cute. Love my punches. Oh, I love them, love them, love them, love, 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 love. Right. And now we're just going to attach this. Right. Oh, oh, let me have a look. Oh, get some more paper. <laughs> I'm just so excitable. <laughs> Let's see now. I forgot about my little stitch love heart. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Right, let's have a look. Let's see if this fits. Yes, it does perfectly. I think it. Oh, my punch is a little bit stiff. Let's get some more paper. I love my scraps bin. <laughs> it's, so, it's so cute to have. Uh, I keep all the pieces. So, one, two, three. I've gone a bit too smudgy on that one, so that's better. I think I press too hard, that's what it is. Oh, oh gosh. Mm. Oh, I love a cup of coffee. I'm just going to punch these out. Try and keep them central. Oh, I've ordered a scanning cut. Brother scanning cut. It's the new, not new. Oh, it, The extra special home edition, I think it is called. Should be here soon. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Right. Dimensional. Pull this off. Get my little tab. Put the back in on. Whoops. And I am going to attach that there. And then we're going to pop this. You can have them slanted, it's entirely up to you. Or you can have them straight. I think that's so cute. I didn't do much on the other ones because of all the stars and stuff. But I'm going to do it on this one, they look so cute. wouldn't want a little note card with I love you on or lots of love with a love heart. 
oh my gosh, these are just adorable. So one, two, I'm going to slant some like this. Oh, no, that was a bit too covered. I'm going to have this one coming downwards. This is just so adorable. And, oops, that's the wrong way around for your love heart. <laughs> get it right, lass, get it right. And I'm going to have this one towards the bottom. Oh, no, I'm not. Come back off. I'm going to have this one along the top again. Because when I slide them now into my little book, it won't be sticking out too far. So one card, have I picked up the wrong envelope, oh, it's got a little bit of an overhang there, I'm just going to trim that off, so you know what have you done there, there we go, come back with the ink, and I'm going to put a little love heart there so it looks like a little stamp as well and then I'm going to pop that in there so you've got little note card little envelope oh my gosh how sweet and we could even let's put the ink away oh no we need that out let's move it out the way then grab a little rhinestone and pop it right on the end up there Oh my gosh, how cute are these? So sweet, loving it. So turn over the page, add the next color. I don't want that, you, you can push them all the way down if you want, but I want that showing. Grab my little envelope. Push that in. There we go. Oh my word, how sweet. We're going to have this one in here. And our envelope is going here. And our last little card. Oh my gosh, I hope this fits now without it. I am just going to tuck that one. I'm going to leave it up a little bit because I don't want it to appear on my... And I'll show you how I made this envelope now. And oh, first of all, I'm going to grab my cropper dial. I'm going to put a little hole in this corner. Pop that out. little thing through and I'm just gonna squash that nice and tight there goes my little punch hole and grab some elastic now go too tight tie a knot towards the hole not too tight like I did last time you could get some of those little mini pens as well and you know attach that somehow off the excess, pop our last little envelope in, this is the one that's got the sticky tape down that side so 
And then, oh my gosh, that is so cute. I might move that actually because I don't want it to fall off. Oh, it's come off anyway. So I'm going to grab some glue. Pop this downwards a little bit. And then that can go in there. Close that up. You could round those corners off if you want for your envelope, but uh, I don't think it needs it. So, that will tuck behind your sentiment. Oh my gosh, that is just the cutest little thing you've ever seen. Absolutely stunning. It just keeps it from opening up and damaging your corners. Your little spine is thicker here, but not so up there. But I adore this. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be keeping one of these in my purse. My uh, handbag, should I say. I don't use handbag very often, but when I do, I'm going to have one of these in for definite. So let's show you how to... All I've done is I've got this piece, which is four and one eighth by five and seven eighths. I've scored half inch either side, flipped it, scored at two and five eighths and five and one quarter. And because I wanted to keep, I'm going to snip into this corner and snip into that one just a tiny little notch out of there. And the same this end. Easiest thing in the planet. Let's notch this corner. Notch this corner. And remove the score line. I'm just gonna and the same on this side. Remove the score line. Only just a little touch, so it closes better. go and then you're going to burnish your score line I'm going to add tear and tape to here we're going to add tear and tape here and just enough there so you can close up your little project oops after you broke your message and just snip that off I don't need all that push that all down how quick is it to make those envelopes and the little cards just get some decorative card and just put a little sentiment on or don't put anything on like I did on the first set And I've done this so my flaps both are closed at the other side. I did do a couple, so one had a flap one end on one side and then the other end, but uh, uh, you do, you, I wanted to, sh I realised then once I've closed this, and you can see now where I've cut into the corner, so I can just trim that up. Make that perfect. So there is your little envelope. It goes with those little note cards. How adorable. Oh my gosh, they're so cute and quick to make as well. Clear up my desk as we're going. Let's grab these one of the other ones. And because the flap is on the outside, your card won't get caught. There we go, fits in there, treat. And then when you wrote your message, see you can seal your little envelope and away to go. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, love it. The thing is, not, I can't get it out. <laughs> I will do, I'll get it out later. But I hope you enjoy. I really had fun making these. They're just so adorable. So there's one and there's the other one. This is the one I only had tape on the one side. But... If I'd have got it right the other one, we'd have just glued those two pieces together anyway to keep them together. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. 
you, as long as you get there in the end and get the paper on the outside what you want <laughs> but uh, yeah I tried to keep it and now ha they are so tiny they are four by three how cute I'm gonna keep one of them in your handbag they're just lush perfect little gifts to give out as well perhaps if you're a demonstrator you could make them for customers um, or if you just want it, teachers, oh my god, you know when the kids were leaving school, a little Christmas present for the teacher, they love stationery, and like I say, you could get a little pen um, and attach it somewhere on here, perhaps maybe, I don't know, but there's my project for today, I hope you like, hope you give a thumbs up and a share, and if you want to see more little projects I like to make on a daily basis, please press the subscribe button down here much appreciated and if you want to be notified press the little bell and that way you won't have to wait or try and hunt things down to find me they'll notify you and then you come straight to the project but thanks for watching till next time have a lovely day bye